what's going on everybody um today we finally got a chance to really actually finish doing some of the stuff to the truck that we've been wanting to do and i wanted to uh maybe kind of show this to everybody um it's kind of a cheap way to put some carpet down you know that'll keep you from getting like having to walk on the pad padded floor and everything um it makes it look a little bit more homely in here because you know those guys were we're, we're homely we're we, uh, we're homely first <laughs> of all yeah so, you know, I got my 40 inch screen TV. Oh, check out our new triple machine up there. That thing is a air fryer, a oven, and a microwave all in one. Yes, it is. Look at this. It's a, da, da, yes, for $100 and it fits perfect. Look at here, we have, I gotta do the model thing. The model thing, what? The price is right. Da, da, da. Anyway, so I'm holding a knife in my hand. What do now, what I use this for? Come here, Bob Barker. I don't have an exacto knife. I do have a bunch of tools. That's that's one thing I don't have. But this thing, trust me, it'll it look it's shavy right there. Um, this thing's very sharp. But I use this to cut the edges of the carpet. I've done this before, and what it is, I get the carpet. It's a it's a three. I think it's three and a half. Oh, no, three that, that's four foot. Or four That's by six. Foot. I, look, I'm not. I think it's four foot by six. Foot Hell, it's the one that's fifteen dollars at Walmart. Anyway, yeah, you can tell which one is wide enough. You see, they have different sizes. Hey, Scooter, get off my carpet. Bye, bye. Back it up. Walk backwards like a real dog. Back, back. Watch me. Walk, <laughs> walk backwards. <laughs> don't stab me. Don't stab me, guy. He wants to smell the knife. He's got blood on it. No. So, anyway, you, you lay it down. You kind of let it fold up like this. You see back here, I've already cut these corners a little bit so they don't, because there's a wall right under the edge of that inside of it, so they won't like, actually roll under there. Now on this side, once I cut this and get this seat belt cut around the hole for it, this will actually pop under the edge of this. And up here in the front, they'll actually, I, I trim this off and I trim it a little longer because it will pop under the edge of the, the seat right here. And then I leave this out and I cut this edge right here so it flaps down and, I, and the, the little rugs that we have up in front, it lays over the tip of it. And you see up here in the front, it tucks under. I've got to straighten it up a little bit because it is kind of slid. If you don't care, I just, a little bit too much. I just kind of line it up. I haven't really uh, got it. And sometimes it takes a little bit for it to, because it's been rolled up in a big, a big ball or a big circle. A, a, a big roll <laughs> it's been rolled up in a big roll for who knows how long so it's got a shape held to it the only thing i don't like about these guys is you got all this the like white adhesive, is, stuff, the adhesive that stuff on the bottom off. it's not like sticky but this is for grip it flakes off so when you know under the carpet it'll be under there whenever you decide to change the carpet you can use your air hose and blow it out it's not really a big deal but, you know, it is kind of annoying. That's about the most annoying part of it. But other than that, you know, you can see all these edges right here. Yes. I've okay. already trimmed these, okay? Show them the edges. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'll show you how to cut out around. You got these seat belts that go to the floor right here. It's part of the, uh, this, the, the actual part that runs from the seat down to the floor that holds the seat from slamming forward. So it's actually what that's actually for. So what you can do, you kind of start, you look directly in front of it, and you cut straight down to the floor like that, okay? And you can come around here and cut on the bottom straight out from it, just like that. So when you put around it, guess what? What? There you go. You can't even tell it's actually... It looks like it just comes right up through the carpet once you lay it down. And that actually helps also hold it in place, you know, especially when I'm trying to get it, you know, put out near as far as up. You are like the Bob Vila of semi trucks. <laughs> oh man. Interior just, decoration. <laughs> yeah. I've just done this stuff a lot. I mean, I I mean come on, I mean that's not really hard to do. You just gotta you know, it's a little cut one cut you don't have to cut anything out or anything like this now this truck is dirtier when, when you get to this part i will tell you the edge of the seat right here 
you're going to want to like t put a straight cut down right to the edge of the back of it that way you can lay that piece down too because this front part as you see not all that's going to fit under this seat at all so this is kind of a i guess it's not really a hard thing to do but you also come up to the front of it up here be if I move this rug. and you find the front of the seat on this one and you take and you line up with it you cut down on it until you get to the floor this would be a little bit easier with an exacto knife guys if I, if you do this i suggest you use an exacto knife as you can see already it's already shapely and about ready to go in i'm going to take and cut across the top of this one and you can see that this bar now this is in a freight liner guys and i'll tell you what and pretty much uh i've been in the only other truck i've been in is internationals and they were pretty much the same as far as the seats are are set up with the bracket on the floor and everything so what you want to do is you actually just want to cut across the top of that bracket so there's a little bit lip left over that you can tuck under the bracket and it holds it in place so that's pretty much all we got to do here and we're going to get rid of all of this so i get this bag on the thing cutting now gotta watch where i'm at with it man i tell you what make it a little easier get all the way up sure it is yeah it's just that you gotta be careful enough to get into that rubber there so but yeah there we go just want to watch you know make sure there's no, no airlines or anything you're going to get into that are under the seat and uh you know, I gotta get my sharpener <laughs> soon because I've this cutting this carpet like this uh, will dull it very fast. You see, there's a couple of strings left over here. You just snap them off, whatever. They're gonna be tucked under the edge of the seat anyway. You know, you're gonna have little snaggles here and there. As you can see, as I push it down and under, it really will tuck right down under it, just like that. You can take an edge. Actually, it's better to use the edge of like a, you know, something. I could use a pen right here just to give it a good little poke right under the edge. So, yeah. And as you can see, there you go. <laughs> I got a great camera operator. I bet the camera's been shaky too. Shut up. <laughs> Yeah, you know, Can you like see it, the most accurate depiction of Eric ever? <laughs> That's great. Right there. That is excellent. Guys, you know, the last couple weeks have been pretty stressful for us. Three weeks um, going through this transition. We are going to be talking about that soon, but um, we're just kind of, I'm waiting on that. Um, it's no rush on that or anything, but uh, so, as you've seen, I did that side right there. Um, this side, actually, I, I, wait, I can't wait till I do this right here because, so this side is pretty much the same as the other side. You're going to, don't cut into the seat belt. <laughs> That's a big no-no. You do not cut into the seat belt at all. You strain sometimes, man. Yeah. Is my sharpener up there? Anyway, I just wondered. Because I could pause it just a minute and come back. Is my sharpener up there? You go. Know? All right, guys. So now I got my knife sharpened and everything. So to see a little cut a little better here, you know, because I've got to cut this piece. So as you see, that part's yeah. This part I got to cut. That part away down on the back. That's what I was trying to do. So the front side. See how it comes this way. I'm just gonna cut along it, like I said before. You just don't want to cut. Obviously, you don't want to cut. The, uh, then I'm gonna go over here. You don't cut the belt, is what I'm trying to say. You go over here, this actually has a little space under it. these little refrigerator stands. So you can definitely, definitely get and tuck these under there. And see, by tucking these spots and everything, it really does do a lot with holding it in place, I promise you. So, I guess I got a little string over here I'm trying to come up. <clears throat> Just shove it in there, dang it. Shove it. I said shove it. Hey, 
Don't make me bring out. Oh no, he came out. Oh, oh god. Oh, <laughs> by the way, Patty and Taylor's gonna be back soon, Dad Gummit. So you can shove it. Yeah. Hey, Patty. I didn't ask about you. I just said something about you. You's gonna be around now. You go to your inside your brain somewhere else. I will. Dad Gummit. Bye. <laughs> so. Okay, in the next scene, like I said, we're coming up here. We're gonna find the edge in the in the back right here. Um, with this, there's look, there's not really a lot to cut off. I mean, I can. I'm gonna just cut that little piece. It's even with the back side of it. You know, sometimes that'll be a little tight, and you can just kind of trim it a little bit. But hey, it, that works great. Give it an episiotomy. <laughs> <laughs> I bet half the half. The, if anybody that's a man that doesn't have a hasn't had a kid yet does not know what the hell that is. <laughs> Did you get an episiotomy when you had your kid? <laughs> yes. Oh. I'm saying. Well, I already with, knew that. So. Lady, you know, they, they would know if that if that happened, they would know. So I'm going to back up here to front along the very front of this rail under here, and I'm going to cut straight down right there and let that flap over. But like I said. It goes under the front rug like that. That way, everything's tucked down. So, and now I got this this flap left right here, and I'm gonna come along the front, just over the top of it, where you'll have a little lip left, and get into it. Man, I just know this knife just don't cut this stuff very easily. That's the whole problem. I think that it's not sharp because it will slice you to pieces. <laughs> I'm gonna try to. Tuck that corner in before I cut it so I kind of get a good it, it won't like try to pull away from me or anything but once I get it going there it's kind of easy to get down there and do it just stay on top of that rail that's under the seat just like that you know in this edge one thing I was going to say this edge does not have to be perfect at all because it's not going to be visible. It just needs to be, like I said, about as long, like where the bottom, meet, the rug meets down in the corner, just the, as tall as the rail is high. That gives it a lip that you can stick inside the uh, under or under the rail there. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Oh yeah. So today we're going to cut the carpet. We're gonna trim the carpet, guys, and we're gonna make sure the lip is are, nice. Are we gonna like munch it a little bit? Gonna, maybe, maybe munch it a little bit. We munch it over the rail and then munch it into edge. Okay, gotta be a good carpet. That's, that's creepy. I'm okay. getting creepy. <laughs> so yeah, um, just kind of going along here, right here. Just going along right here, right here, making sure that it's. Uh, like I said, guys, like there's so many, like you see all these little pieces trying to snag. Yeah, like I said, it don't have to be anything perfect because you're, it's going to be tucked under the edge. So, and the hard thing to do is something left-handed here, right, right-handed. So, and this is a very bad angle, but I'm going to be able to get it right now. If this stuff is just not easy to cut, I don't think it. Like it's kind of hard because you don't really have a. A steady like actual surface to push up against so here is where we get to tuck this down you can use your fingers mm -hmm. uh, you can use um, uh, you probably use a flathead screwdriver uh, if you have a piece of plastic like one of those things that you buy for like putting in car stereos you know it's got a blunt edge on it that's kind of sharp but it it's made for like tucking in and, and popping panels and cars and stuff like that and tucking in wires yeah you could use one of those you could use the edge of anything hard plastic or whatever it don't i mean be creative you know come up with your own thing or whatever but now you see as it's you go back over it a little bit Maybe just push it in, make it sure some spots. You're gonna have some frays come out every once in a while, or, or you find just that you didn't get up first time. Well, guys, that right there is exactly how you can buy a $15 carpet, which 
is actually very nice and the, the carpet itself has got it's pretty it's pretty long it's what it's fluffy and stuff so it, it thing is it catches dirt we do have a vacuum cleaner we it'll vacuum up and everything we also got an air hose and all that stuff so oh and don't ever buy a black one go ahead yeah. when you have a dog don't ever buy a black one <laughs> You will see every single hair that the dog has ever had on it. Um, it shows up every little piece of dirt, everything. So brings out every little neurosis in your brain. Yes, pigginess, pigginess. Well, guys, the next thing I'm going to do, and I'm not doing it on video, but I'll do a, uh, I'll do a video about it later. But because we change them out every once in a while, but we always. Because one reason because of the dog is we get seat covers and that way you know right later on down the road if we get a newer truck and somebody else comes in this truck I don't you know we clean out and everything and like armor all and everything when we get out of a truck too but uh, dog hairs with these fibers they tend to get in there like and it's hard to with the vacuum cleaner so we get these seat covers that are like this and they actually or a smooth surface like that's almost like uh, like leather and so they uh they're supposed to fit any bucket seat any bucket seat and actually they look like they're very close to it already so we'll see Good deal. guys have a good one we appreciate you um stopping by here at red monkey trucking's uh uh <laughs> Home in time. Home interior <laughs> class. Uh, today we talk about munching the carpet. Mm -hmm. And uh, everybody have a wonderful weekend, the rest of your weekend, and a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. You know what? Peace out and happy trails.